Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited that you're here because it is time for a haul. So welcome back to Park Avenue. Welcome to everyone who's new here. My name is Ashley Park. This is Park Avenue and I have tons of fashion content for you to check out. If you like handbag unboxings, review videos, fashion ideas, outfit inspo, then you are in the right place. You can check out some of my other playlists, some of my other videos. And when you find something you like, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notification bell. So that way you guys don't miss any of my uploads. Now, spring fashion, spring fashion, spring fashion. Spring is on the tip of everyone's tongues. Everyone is really excited to transition into the spring weather and that includes me. And I've been doing a little shopping and I'm gonna have some more pieces to show you guys in upcoming videos. But I got a few pieces right now that I really want to show you guys because we all know that everything can sell out pretty quickly, especially with you guys. You guys that really like check all the links and you guys are letting me know what you're getting and everything like that. So I appreciate you guys so much for shopping my links in the description box. And if I can find like similar options when things are sold out, I'll link that for you guys as well. But before we get into these new spring pieces that I wanna show you guys, you guys who have been following my journey already know that I'm a first time home buyer. My fiance and I are doing some home renovations. This is our first house, we're really excited about it and we wanna take you guys along with us. So stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna show you some of the updates. Okay, so let's get into these pieces. This first outfit that I'm showing you guys is from H&M. I have been living in my loungewear. I'm sure that's the same for all of you because when I do like loungewear videos and stylings and hauls, you guys are really into what I'm showing you. So here's another piece that I thought was really cute. Now this top and sweats is from H&M, but the cool thing about this is it has a little twist. The top has the shoulder pads in it and it really gives it a different vibe, a really cool elevated lounge suit, sweatsuit, you know, whatever you want to call it. Very comfy, very chic. And I styled it here with a pair of um, clear, Heels from Zara. Y'all, these are the same clear heels that I have been talking to you guys about since like last summer. And you guys are gonna see them a ton this summer as well, so stay tuned. But actually they're still available on Zara's site, so I'll link those for you guys in the description box as well. But I do really love this sweatsuit because I love the interesting shoulders. Now, last time I checked, H&M had this sweatsuit in a few different colors, and the top as well. I actually think they did this top last summer um, because there was a yellow one that I wanted and I didn't get then. So it looks like they redid this and maybe some other colors. So I'll link that for you guys in the description box, but I really love these. I've gotten the bottoms in a couple of other colors as well. And then I've gotten the matching tops. And these are really, really nice. The one thing I will say about these H&M um, joggers is some of the colors seem to be like a little bit, not sheer, they're not like see-through, but they're not, the fabric isn't, very thick, if that makes any sense. Sometimes you can see flaws if you have anything, any flaws that you're that you don't want to show through your clothes. They're gonna show in some of the colors. So when you get them, if you decide to get other colors, just try them on and see how you feel. And make sure you guys are checking how clothes fit you and how they look on you in natural light, because sometimes it'll look cute when you're in the house, but then when you go outside, you'll see things a little bit differently. So make sure you guys are checking in natural light. You know, the same with your foundation where you're checking it inside the store and make sure you guys are able to look at it in natural light because then you get like the true look of it. The same thing with your clothes, I'm telling you guys. Make sure you check it in natural light. Okay, next up are these high-waisted shorts from Zara. I know you guys, I know, I know, I know. How many pairs of the same shorts is this girl gonna show us? And the answer is every single one that they have because I love them. <laughs> If you guys have watched like my other Zara hauls in the past, I'll link the last one that I did here in the card so you guys can check that one out. But I have these Zara shorts in black and in navy and then I also have them in black, like a tweed looking kind of a fabric that reminds me of like a Chanel fabric. I love them. So I had to get my hands on these as well because a short suit is very hard to come by when they're not trending but it's something that's very classic and I can wear, like I can pull this out three, four, five years from now and it'll be perfect, you know what I mean? And I really love short suits. They're just timeless, classic, they're just gorgeous. They're fun to dress down with sneakers. You can dress it up with heels or a strappy sandal, something like that. Like they're really, really great and I love them and I, I've always loved them. So if I can get my hands on them, I do. And I was kind of like, oh my gosh, do I really need like two black short suits? and a navy like the same exact one, but I do, I really need it. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you like obsessed with short suits? Because I know so many of you like sets, but do you like short suits? This is Curvy Girl, 
like friendly, like to perfection. It's high waist. It feel it fits really nicely. It is a little bit big on the waist, just because I had to go up a, a size to fit my um, to fit my hips and everything like that. So I had to get the biggest size that Zara offers, which is an XXL. But you guys, definitely try them. If you feel like you cannot fit Zara's pieces, I know I get a lot of comments from ladies thinking that they can't fit the, the items from Zara. Sometimes, depending on what size you are, you do have to get a little bit creative. And I know that I probably fit like the top of the Zara sizing, but I'm telling you guys, there are definitely some pieces at Zara that'll surprise you. So I say just order things, try it out, and whatever doesn't work, I mean, you can just return it, you know? It's not a big deal, but definitely check it out. Don't not shop somewhere because you think that it might not work for you. You gotta just try it, you know? So now I have these in another color and I highly recommend them, they're great. Now, speaking of something I have in every color, this blazer from Zara as well. I now have it in this beautiful blue color with silver buttons. I have this blazer, which matches those shorts that I was telling you guys, that I just showed you guys. Now they don't have shorts to match this, but if they did, I would get these too. Honestly, I would because this color is everything and it's perfect for the spring. Now, I think this is this blazer is supposed to mimic like linen, but you know it's Zara, so sometimes the fabrics are not linen. They might be polyester. And I didn't check the blend on this one, but um, when I link it for you guys, you can check it out on the website and see what the material is. But it does give a linen vibe and it hangs differently from the other ones. So I now have this blazer in camo, black, navy oh and then like a black tweed and now this blue so i have this blazer in quite a few colors and it's because the blazer is freaking bomb like this blazer is really bomb the cut the fit everything i highly recommend it and i really really like this one it looks expensive it is on the pricey side it's like for zara but honestly a blazer like this if you were get if you were to get it like at a department store it would probably cost you twice the price so to get something of really great quality and you know not have to pay that super high price tag for it this is a really good deal so if you guys are curious check it out i'll link it in the description box and you guys really need to get your hands on this one if you can while they're still available because even though they keep reproducing this blazer it doesn't seem like they come out with the same colors every time i see it now i also have my eye on it in a white tweed we'll see how it goes you guys it was sold out in my size that's the only reason why i couldn't get it <laughs> but i'll let you guys know for sure if i do get it okay so here are the last couple pieces that i want to show you guys and I was really, really excited about this. This whole set, I love the color. I love the fabric. I thought it was just so gorgeous. It looked really rich. I mean, it was just everything. I couldn't wait to photograph this, especially like around my new house. I couldn't wait to take photos in this and just like lounge luxuriously around the house in this. I thought this outfit was everything. Then I put it on and I was a little underwhelmed. And I'm gonna tell you why. Not because it's not, the, the quality is really great. The fabric is beautiful, but it just wasn't flattering on me. And I had to come to that realization that it just didn't flatter me. And I'm going to tell you guys why. Now, the way the bottoms, like the pants lay on me, that was my issue because it has like a rumpling at the top of like my hip, like around my hips and around the waist. It kind of rumples in a weird way that just isn't flattering. And when I did like a half tuck, it was kind of okay, but it wasn't just what I imagined in my mind and I wasn't completely satisfied with it. So if I'm not completely happy with it and I'm gonna be like messing around, constantly tucking and tugging and pulling at it, it's not worth it. And if you have any sort of imperfection, it's gonna highlight it because of the material is so reflective um, it just didn't do well for me. But I'm not saying you guys shouldn't try it because it is a super cute outfit. It really is, it just didn't work for me. So this one is gonna go back. So that's it, you guys. Those are the spring pieces I picked up. And stay tuned because I actually have a spring shoe haul coming up. And I'm excited for that one as well. I know you guys are going to love it. I know you guys love shoes. So stay tuned. But if you made it this far, thanks for sticking around. Now I'm going to show you guys some of the behind the scenes that's going on with the home renovations. I'm really excited to share that with you all. And let me know if you guys want to see more like home content, decorating, you know, more of the renovations, more like DIY stuff. Let me know if you guys wanna see that. Let me know in the comments, because of course I'll definitely share all those things with you guys if you're interested. But here we go. All right guys, so we at the house. I actually wanted to do a little walk through to show y'all the house before we actually finished it. So we've been here pretty much every day. Well, not, not actually. I have been here every day because. But um, me and my cousin, he's our contractor, he's, his company is sealing the floors, so we pretty much got like 15, 20 years of experience with us. I'm a backyard kind of guy. All the sheetrock and stuff that you see going up and tiles and stuff like that, that's all him, but I'm doing a pretty good job helping him. But today we came to do like a walkthrough because like it's hard to film and work at the same time, so we had to plan a day where we could show y'all 
some of the like the before before the after comes because like we it's really hard to like try to film the work at the same time so this right here is pretty much the walkthrough and Ashley's gonna give you guys the tour all right you guys I am really really excited it's crazy because the process it, it feels like it's like taking a long time and going super fast at the same time I just can't even explain it. it's just crazy so anyway welcome to our house Right now, we are standing by the front door, like the foyer era kind of area. We don't know what we're gonna do with this space. Probably, you know, um, have like a little, um, maybe like one of those little credenza type things. Are they even called credenzas? You know, you put your keys, put a little dish with your keys and catch on and everything like that. That's gonna be so cute. A, a mat in the inside. So anyway, this is just like the walk-in kind of area. Now we're gonna go into like the first living room. I guess the way this house is laid out, this would be like maybe the formal li living room. We're not gonna do like a formal living room versus a non-formal living room, but this we think might be like an office space. We'll see how it goes. But this is one of the living areas. And then right off of this area, we have the dining room. And I'm excited to have a space where we can actually sit down and have dinner and stuff. It doesn't need to be a formal dining room, but I want it to be able to be a space where we can only have that space for eating. Cause right now in the apartment, we don't have an official like sitting at a table area. We have a bar and with, with some bar stools and we sit there and eat. But I really want like a, you know, an actual table. We can sit down and sit around the table and have dinner, have company over. And if we want to have dinner parties and stuff like that, I'm really excited for those kinds of things. So this is the dining room and this is the window going to the backyard. All right, so the space we're standing in right now is the kitchen, which is really exciting because I can't wait to have like an official, like we're gonna be able to like cook in here because my fiance loves to cook and I love to eat and we're gonna have people over and like parties and stuff like that. So I'm really, really excited about that. Right here is gonna be the stove and the countertop. That's gonna be here with like the range hood and everything like that. So try to imagine that. Then over here is going to be another counter space, but it's going to be the sink here. And then our vision is that the countertop goes over this way. And then this is going to be like a bar stool area. Really exciting. And then you see this little space here. It's going to be the coffee station. Over here, you can have like another kind of a breakfast, breakfast nook. It could be something cute like that. I was thinking like French bistro, something cute like that, but we'll see. I don't know exactly what I want to do here. But over in this area, we're gonna have some sort of a coffee station. I am really excited about that because in my luxury wish list, when I was talking to you guys about that, I told you how I really wanted the um, like Nespresso Gravel coffee maker. It, was, it had a, a steamer and all that. Super excited to have like caramel syrup. We're gonna really do it up over here. So I'm really happy about that. And then one thing about this house is that there are a lot of little like quirks and stuff. So this was kind of interesting to me that they have the laundry like literally in the kitchen oh, like it's just right here so <laughs> i thought that was pretty interesting but what we're gonna do is right now it has these doors that take up a lot of real estate when you open and close them so we're gonna put collapsible doors on here and then figure out like what our options are in the future but for now that's what we're gonna do put collapsible doors and then it, it has some shelving already and that's great because right now in the apartment we don't really have much space in the washer dryer room so this is going to be a nice change that's why we're moving in general, because we need more space for everything. And then, oh, let me take you guys over here before we go into the living room. God, we got a walk-in pantry. We got to fix this door too, because. You turn it the other way. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm excited for this, because right now, the pantry that we have, it's like a long closet, which is really annoying, because when we have, like, when we want to get a can of anything down, we got to, like, unstack it and then go in. So that's annoying. But it's nice that we're going to have an official pantry space to come into yeah, and have it really organized. It's gonna be really cool. Redo these shelves. Yeah. Yeah. So that's really exciting. It's not huge, it's not ideal like what you know what, what I we want, dreamed about. But I mean it's a decent it's a decent pantry. Exactly. And I'm really excited for this house in general just because this is our first home. So we're really gonna see what we want to have in the future and what we you know what we're willing to live with and what we're not willing to live with. And in case if ever we decide to actually build a house from the ground up in the future then we'll know like what things that are really important to us that we have to have in a home. So we're gonna be good there. And then so this is the hallway from the entrance that I showed you guys in the beginning but this is the bathroom right off of the hallway. So right now, 
If you follow me on Instagram, the toilet that you saw in, uh, in the kitchen is actually the guest bathroom toilet. But um, yeah, so it's empty right now, but it'll be a toilet here, a vanity, and the mirror, of course. So that's gonna be really cute. It's actually a really good size for a guest bathroom, honestly. Like right off the kitchen, a really nice size bathroom. So that'll be where all the guests come and do what they gotta do. Now right off of the kitchen is the living room. Now this living room is gonna be our actual living room. This is where we're probably gonna spend a lot of our time. We're going to like make almost like a home theater type situation. My fiance is really big into technology and sound. We're probably gonna have something crazy. I don't know, you're gonna have to talk to him about that, but I know it's gonna be great. Um, we have the fireplace. This is a gas fireplace. We're thinking like black on the inside, fire glass, really cool. I'm excited for this. And I don't know if we're gonna make this like our like DIY or if he's just gonna take care of it. <laughs> and then we have this really huge closet over here. I'm not even gonna show you, but it's a really huge closet. Um, in the living room. We're just probably gonna use it for storage or something like that. Now, there are two sets of staircase in this house, which is another little interesting quirk. Um, the first set of stairs are right off the entrance, and then here's a set of stairs that are out of the living room. We're gonna have to replace all this carpet. At the previous owners, I think they had like grandkids or kids, and they, um, this was kind of like their play kind of area. And now, we are entering the studio. Slash closet room. All right, you guys, so I'm sure you can see this other doorway behind me. This doorway leads into the rest of the bedrooms in the house. But first, let's start here. I'm really excited for this room because this is gonna be my closet, my studio, my space. I'm really excited for this. It's huge, you can probably hear my echo. It's a really, really large space. Actually, I think it was supposed to be like a second master, but um, when we moved in, it was, I mean, when we, Got the home. We're not even officially moved in yet, but when we purchased the home, it wasn't finished. I think that, well, I know that after speaking to, hold on. <sighs> I got to rough on that one. So this is gonna be my space. I'm really excited for it. And what we know about this room was that it was a playroom for children. The previous owner had a playroom. It wasn't even finished. And they said that when they purchased the home, it wasn't finished when they got it. So I don't know what the deal was with that. But it did kind of make our lives easier in the fact that there wasn't like, I guess a ton of demolition as far as like the rest of the house was. But anyway, this is where we are with it. Now, what we see for this space is some lighting up top. This way, I'll probably have some sort of shelving system lining the walls, maybe a desk in the middle and some sort of like loungy type situation by the window because I love to look out the window. And me and Gizmo, we love to hang out and just look out the window and chill, just have my coffee by the window. You know, I just like being up high with the window and I love the sunlight. I wanna be able to open the window and get a nice breeze in here. It's gonna be really, really cool. I'm so excited, like you guys, for real. And then on either side here, we have some more closet space. And we're gonna see what we're gonna do as far as like a shelving system, or like a pack system. Is it gonna be like some of it in these closet areas or some of it outside like in the actual room? But because this is also gonna be a studio space, I don't want it to be very cluttered in here. So I'm figuring that out right now. But um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm excited to share that with you guys too. Like the process and what I'm gonna do if I have to have anything custom or anything like that. Now, this room also has a bathroom. Oh, it's noisy, so I can't turn the light on. Maybe this one? Yeah. So this room also has a bathroom, which I'm really excited about <laughs> because I love to have my own bathroom. And we're gonna have a bathroom in the master bedroom. And of course there are other bathrooms in the house, but this bathroom is mine specifically like mine. So I'm really happy about that because one thing that I know from us living in other apartments, like our first apartment together, I vowed from that moment forward, I would always have my own bathroom wherever we lived after that. So, had to have this, I'm really happy. And um, you know, it's a nice little, it's a small bathroom. And actually, it had like a space to put a shower and everything in it, but we decided we weren't gonna do that. But it's gonna have, you know, a toilet, sink, vanity, everything like that. So I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna set it up as far as like lighting so I can be able to like do my makeup and stuff. And I want every space in this room to, to be filmable because if I'm gonna do like, I don't know, do my makeup with you guys or do my hair or whatever. I want every space to be able to be filmed in, you know? So, excited for this. 
Now we're walking into the hallway. Now this is the steps that we could have come up when we came through the front door in the beginning. But, so that's that. Now, this first room, this is kind of like, <laughs> this is just like right now, what they're using, what like my fiance and his cousin are using as like their set up like station sort of a room. They come, they're able to eat in here if they want to take a nap while they're working, whatever they want to do. They have a space where they can sit things because the rest of the house is like totally demolished. They wouldn't be able to do anything anywhere in here. So this is where they can kind of have like a workstation, you know? And this is a guest bedroom, obviously I forgot to say that. And look how high the ceilings are. This is really cool. We're happy to have this because in our apartment now, I mean, there's a lot of things we don't like about it, but there is a lot we do love about it. And one of the things is that it has really high ceilings. And we kind of just really got used to that and we never wanted to go backwards. So we made sure that a lot of the spaces had high ceilings wherever we were gonna end up. And we're happy that this has high ceilings, has a super large window. The thing, one thing about this house is that they don't have a lot of closet space, which I thought was like, look, this is a joke. Like, look at this closet. This is a linen closet but this is inside of a bedroom. I don't know, that's really small. But we're gonna figure that out, but this is a guest room, like I said. Then, right across from the guest room, we have the hallway bathroom, another guest bathroom. I'm excited for this bathroom because I picked up these tiles and I saw like the process of how this was happening because the bathroom before this was really ugly. It did not have anything that we wanted to keep, so it was like a complete gut, new tub, new tiling and then um the toilet is going to come back in here and then the vanity and everything like that but overall it's looking really cute and the tile made like a really big difference as far as like how it feels it feels a lot bigger so i like that now i'm going to take you into this other room first before we go into the master but this is like a second guest room but this is going to be my fiance's like uh, office room, his studio. This is where he's gonna have everything he needs. You guys, I don't know if you, go, you guys know, but he does gaming, he does a lot of his own film projects. He does a lot of like internet stuff. So <laughs> he can do all that in here. And then this room also has a closet that's a little bit bigger, but um, it's probably gonna be like storage or servers, tech stuff. So this is gonna be like a real techie room, but you guys will see that when he tells you all about his projects. And then this is just a linen closet. But I don't know if we're gonna use it for linens, maybe because the guest bathroom, we kind of have to really um, figure out what we're gonna do as far as storage and closet space because the closets, like I said, are kind of small. So I'm assuming, I'm pretty sure this was used for a linen closet, but we'll see if we'll use it as our actual linen closet. Or maybe it'll just be the linen closet for this hallway bathroom because there's another closet here that we'll probably use for the master linen closet. Okay, try to picture it. Pretend this, you know, all the stuff is in here. This is the master bedroom. And the thing I love about this room, first of all, we got the high ceilings again. Really excited about the vaulted ceilings. Makes the space feel larger. It was like obviously mandatory for us. But what I love in this space is that because there's no neighbors like around our yard, we can leave the windows open. And we don't have to worry about, you know, in the evening closing the blinds because somebody can see in. We can leave the windows up 24-7 if we really wanted to. And I love that because I love to have the blinds up. Even when it's dark out, I just really like having the blinds up. So I'm super excited about that. Now, there is another closet in here, but again, it's super tiny. You guys probably can't even tell. You can't really see right now because there's a bunch of stuff in here, but it's really small. Like this would not be cool for two people in my opinion, not us anyway. For us, it wouldn't be good enough for us, but we're gonna work it out because I have my closet room. You guys just saw there. Now we're gonna go into the master bathroom. Oh, you guys, I wish I had the tub in here. Okay, so right now the tub is not here, but I think we have some clips of the tub, so we'll try to insert those, but let me just lay it out for you. All right, so the tub is gonna go here. It's a freestanding tub that I'm super excited about. The vanity goes over here, mirror, you know, sinks, all that. And then right here, this black hole is gonna be the shower. Really like this. We did have to do some um, manipulations here because the tub that was here before was one of those really blocky, kind of like um, inset tubs. And I really wanted a freestanding tub. I really wanted to create like a spa-like feel in here. And I was willing to compromise with that, but my fiance actually really wanted to give me what I wanted. So he made it work and I'm, I'm just excited to see how it's gonna look like the finished product. 
because when I'm in the tub, I'm gonna be able to look out of the window and because like I said, no one, no one can really see into our, like the back of our house, the way everything is set up. So I'm gonna be able to leave the blinds up and sit in the shower if I wanna have some fresh air come in. I mean, sit in the tub and just look out the window. So I'm excited about that. That's gonna be so cute. Can you guys picture it? Like look, pretend I'm in the tub right now and I'm just looking out the window. Excited, okay. Okay, so that's that. And then the shower. Oh, we got the, so we had like a niche put in so we can you know, put your shampoo, soaps, whatever like that. And I'm really happy about that because you don't realize until you're in the shower how you how much you do not have anywhere to put anything. And then what's gonna go here in this space is a piece of glass. Before, I kind of wanted one of those like really open bathrooms and the shower, like the whole thing was like basically a shower. <laughs> But in order to do that, we would have had to waterproof the whole floor. And there is a huge expense involved in that. So we wanted to, we didn't really want to blow the budget. We wanted to make sure we got everything we wanted and that we were happy to live with. So for us, this is what worked. And we're going to put a piece of glass here so that we don't feel trapped in the shower. And then you'll still get the view of the outside when you're in the shower. Beautiful. And then off of the master bathroom is another closet. This one is small still. So what I'm thinking for this one is this could be the master bathroom's linen closet slash whatever sort of spillover we have in here. We'll see how it goes. Um, you know, that's what I'm thinking right now. All right, so now I wanna show you guys the backyard. And the yard was something we really wanted to make sure we had a nice size space because we wanted a lot of land. You guys know I really want chickens. I don't know if I'll be able to have them here at this house, but we did want a nice size um, yard so that we could plant vegetables, my fiance wants to do um, a lot of gardening and we have gizmo. We want him to have space. We want to have company and we could grill outside. We just want to spend more time outside, especially you guys already know at like after like lockdown and all that stuff, we have been spending so much time at home. So we just really needed the space because of that. And we want to just really create a vibe. Like we want to make this house a vibe, some, some place that we're excited to be and spend a lot of our time work out of all that, you know? So this is the yard. Now, when we got this house, we knew that we were gonna have to do a lot of work to it, so we had our mindset. So, as you can see, there's a lot to be done. <laughs> but there's honestly a lot already done. This patio was bigger, it actually came around. I hope we have some clips to show you guys and we can insert them, but it actually came around. There was a swimming pool right here, an above ground swimming pool, which we didn't wanna pull at all. We just thought it was a waste of space and you gotta maintain them and all that. We weren't really interested. I kind of think in the summertime, once we get like the lawn like really nice, get everything together, I'm gonna do like a retro type of vibe and get a kiddie pool and put my feet in it with like a cute lawn chair. That's like what I'm seeing for the future. But hopefully maybe, um, I don't know if I'll be able to do that this summer because there is so much work to be done. But my fiance has been going around and like taking all the stumps and all the, what are these called? Posts. All the posts out of the ground. Everything that's sticking up out of the ground is probably cemented. So he's had a lot of trouble going around and getting everything out of the ground, which is just so crazy to me. But anyway, over there, um, they have like a, some kids stuff, like a swing set and all that kind of stuff. But over there, they have a seesaw, which I'm actually gonna keep. I'm gonna um, refinish it, like sand it down and stuff, and then maybe paint it white or something. My fiance says we need to seal all the wood stuff, so we'll take care of that, the fence and everything. As you can see, the fence is not complete all the way around. They had a shed there, which they took with them. So it left a hole in the fence and then they had a dog. So um, they had like a, I guess this is how it kind of was like the dog play area. So we're gonna have to take this out and you know, fill the fence in and then go from there. So once we get all the holes filled in, he's gonna um, treat the soil so that everything could be nice and lush. And we're probably not gonna see like a really full lawn until I don't know, maybe like next year. I guess it's gonna take a while. What do you think? Couple, like a couple of years? Yeah, we're gonna have green grass this year, but um, it's probably not gonna be like perfect leveled and everything till next year. Yeah. So we got a ways to go with this, but I'm excited to see how it's gonna look. And I am excited to have events and we're gonna grill out. And I know we're honestly probably gonna use the grill a lot more than the stove. Um, we already got a refrigerator and we have to get a couple of other things as far as appliances go. But I'm excited to get the grill because I know my fiance is gonna be cooking out and everything like that. We're gonna have like fish. And over here, look. So they already have a fire pit over here, but it needs some work still because the pavers are uh, uneven. And I don't really, I'm not crazy about this, 
what do we what was it called pergola pergola <laughs> We don't want the pergola. That's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed a sneak peek of what's going on with the home renovations. I'm excited to keep you guys up to speed and share more as we go along. Thank you guys so much for watching. And let me know which spring pieces you guys have been picking up lately. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed this one, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Bye, guys. Oh.